Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So we just finished out section one of this Web3 Python smart contract and blockchain hacking course. So I'm making this intro video to reflect exactly what was in it so that the new people know exactly what they're getting into and whether it's good for them. On the screen, I have our outline. So our outline consists of smart contract interactions and network interactions for section one of this course. Now this is gonna be your foundational section where we're gonna deep dive in on how to use Python to do all of these things. So it is a coding course. If you're looking for purely smart contract hacking, that's my previous course. In this one, we're gonna go way more in depth and then build out into section two and so on and so forth and get really in depth. But in this course, we're gonna do a lot of foundational Python programming around smart contract interactions, such as interacting on the main net with wallets and ERC-20 tokens. We're also gonna take a look at bytecode reversing, pulling those down manually into opcodes and figuring out what they're actually doing if we don't have the source code for the smart contract, as well as writing our own Python code to automate, figuring out what this bytecode is doing by doing function lookups with brute forcing, as well as automating the disassembly of code and pulling what we need out of that code in order to figure out what that bytecode is doing if we don't have the smart contract source code. Then we're gonna take a look at smart contract signing and how to send our transactions over and sign them and make sure everything's working properly to interact with the smart contract and all of the different interactions you would face while you're hacking a smart contract looking at some memory storage within the smart contracts and how that works, and then add a hack around on that a little bit. And then we're gonna take a look at some Python asynchronous program to subscribe to events that are getting kicked off by the smart contract. Just so you know how to interact with all of the things related to smart contracts using Python for hacking. Now there's gonna be some homework assignments. We're gonna take a look at Uniswap factory contract so that you can take the knowledge you learned with smart contract interactions in a little more advanced level where you have to on the fly create connections to different contracts and figure out how that works, as well as attacking some smart contract pathways using Python and all of the different information such as signing and interacting in all the different ways to find a path to hack a smart contract. And then we will give you some byte code. You'll take that byte code. You'll do some reverse engineering on it and tell me what contract that is without any source code. You're gonna figure it out with the tools that you built and the knowledge that you gained. So once we're done with all of that, we're gonna take a look at the network. We're gonna take a look at blocks and we're gonna take a look at transactions. We're gonna filter that and do some monitoring for some light intrusion detection to figure out what's going on there. And then we're gonna take a look at the pending transactions in the mempool where you would do sandwich attacks or front running attacks and writing asynchronous Python code to subscribe to those and then do some network monitoring and some filtering on Uniswap routers and give you ideas on things that you would wanna do depending on what your interests are. You can then go from here and create your own tools and you should really have a really good foundation on Web3 with Python that we're gonna take into section two, where we start automating some stuff with frameworks and testing and doing a lot more smart contract hacking in there as well as fuzzing, et cetera. But hopefully this all looks good to you. If it does, that is what is in section one. So have fun with that. You can follow me on Twitter uh, in the link on the description below, and I will catch you later.